Hello, I'm Jess and we'll be presenting news about Attleborough Academy. We have interviewed a member of staff. Here is the interview. We are here with Miss Powell, a PE teacher at Attleborough Academy, Norfolk. How do you feel about turning into an academy? I think it's been a wonderful transformation. I think um, the school as a whole looks very good. Um, the staff are very positive about it and I think most of the pupils have been very positive as well. It's been a very good change. What is your opinion about the new logo and the new ties? I have to say I like all of the ties. I certainly like the logo because it's um, a pink, pinkish, purpley <laughs> colour. Um, and I think the ties are really smart. I think it's much easier to see now which house you're all in. They're a bit more predominant, the colours of the red and the green and the yellow. Certainly the red is the best one. Um, so I think it's a, a really good change, um, and certainly when we start introducing the new blazers when they've got them attached on properly, the logos, I think it will look very, very smart. And I do like the colours of, of the, all the new logos and things. So. What, change, <coughs> what changes do you think have happened since we turned into an academy? Um, I think that the um, uh, around the school you can see all the new signs, so it makes things a bit easier to see where things are. Um, I think the changes of the uniform are going to be very positive for everybody. Everybody looks really smart, the ties look very smart. Um, the staff are, haven't changed very much, but some of the kind of the finance staff and the backroom staff have changed a little bit, but you guys don't see too much of that. Um, and I think we will be a little bit more in charge of what we can do as a school now. Okay, so we'll be able to make some of the decisions for ourselves as well. What do you think the future is for the Academy? The future for the Academy? Uh, I think that we are going to go from strength to strength. Um, and I think we're going to be able to make a lot more decisions. Like I said, we go a lot more decisions for ourselves. And we'll be able to choose what we do a little bit more with the money that we spend in the school, how we spend it, where we spend it, that kind of thing. Okay? Thank you. Attleboro Academy lets children have different chances of like trips. A ski trip, ski trip was held in February on half term. It was at Northern Italy. 17 students and four staff travelled traveled through the night by ferry and bus. But we're going to see a member of staff who went. Mr. Brains. Mr. Brains. issues on the trip. We had really good students and really good stuff and we got on really well. Our bus did break down for about two hours so that was a bit of an issue and we did have one student that got accidentally knocked over by a snowboard and hurt her legs so that was another issue but really for a week away with 20 people we didn't have much issue at all. How much money was the trip to Northern Italy? Uh, it was 900 and a little bit pounds for the children, but that was a whole week away, that was all the travel, that was full-time <laughs> tuition, so they got to learn to ski either in a beginner group or intermediate group, and all their food and all their entertainment. So, sounds like a lot of money, but it was worth it. Did you enjoy it? Why? I really enjoyed it. Um, I used to snowboard a lot and I hadn't been for 10 years so I was looking forward to getting back on my board and I enjoyed that and then I discovered that I really liked skiing so I learned to ski in two or three days and I really loved it and I can't wait to do it again. Thank you. You're welcome. I am interviewing another member of staff who went on a ski trip. How much, how did you enjoy it and why? I really enjoyed it, it was really good because I got to spend uh, a Brilliant day, every day out on the mountains, fantastic scenery, and I got to spend it with Mr. Brahms. Do you think that it was a lot of money? Uh, no, kind of, it's expensive, I guess, but it's um, money well spent, I think. Have you ever experienced something like this before? Uh, I went last year on a ski trip, and this year was even better because I knew already how to ski, so yeah, I have. it's really good. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here at the Sixth Form Centre about to interview some sixth formers. At Alvaro Academy, they provide a wide range of advanced level courses. Also, we have a thinking arrangement for thinking about the next step and number of the opportunities and approximately 100 students there. I'm here with 
were some sixth form presidents to ask them some questions. First question, what responsibilities do you have? Uh, well, we, um, we're like the voice for the sixth formers. If they've got a problem, then we uh, relay it to any staff, perhaps make changes in the sixth form. Uh, we work on the sixth form formal, which is what we have at the end of the year, when um, well, after we finish the school, we all have a nice night together. And then uh, we've been doing assemblies throughout the year as well. And uh, yeah. How did you become a sixth form president? Uh, so we sort of had to fill out an application form uh, if you wanted to become one. And then Mr. Hunt and Mr. Kashvaz with uh, like sixth form tutors and teachers sat down and discussed if we'd be good candidates or not. And when they narrowed it down, we then went into Mr. McShane's office and they told us who were president and who was going to be deputy and who was going to be lead. What is sixth form? Well, it, uh, it's just uh, higher education from GCSE, so if you feel that uh, you have the ability to achieve or you want to achieve further than GCSE, then you can. And you can narrow the subjects down to four or three, so you can focus more on those and then hopefully either uh, go out into the workplace or go to university. Yeah, the only difference is you have a lot more independent study. What courses does six form offer? Well, there's, there's a majority, really. There's uh, so many different courses that you can choose from. Uh, and with, especially with Attleboroughs linked to other schools, such as Wyndham High and Wyndham College, uh, there's endless possibilities. So whatever you feel like studying after you finish GCSE, then uh, there's an opportunity to choose that. Thank you.